I got my heads back the other day and I'm finally getting a chance to mess with them a little more. I can show you. This is, if it'll show up in the video. Come on, focus. Damn it. Well, anyway, you can kind of see they're really bad valves. They're just ugly. They've been sitting for 30 years. So yeah, they're gonna be a little rusty. This one actually looked pretty decent. But you can see here, I'll hold this up right there. See, oversized valves in there. And same thing with, you know, this guy too. Oversize. The first oversize with these heads, you don't have to re-harden the seats or put hard seats in just the way they did it. You know, there's enough hardness there where you can hog out the heads enough for the first oversize. Anything over that, then you gotta deal with seats. Well, that was the burned valve, the one exhaust valve. That was bad, which is what parked the car. So, anyway. Those are the valves. I'm CCing them. I got the one done. The other one, I, I measured a couple of them. Uh, both 87 cc's, which is, at, I think, right where I want to be to get my compression really close to 10 to 1. Um, I'll show you how I'm doing this. Got a uh, little Vaseline, and I just smear around the edge. Because I'm only, I'm only measuring two. If, if they're both the same or close, really close, then that's going to be good enough for me. Then I've got, I've already got this one done and it's stuck on there and I've just got a piece of plexiglass with a tiny little hole in it. Um, and then I'm using isopropyl alcohol and I got these syringes from a um, farm store and you know they use them for you know cattle and livestock and whatnot giving them medications. I got the biggest ones I could find there. 60 cc's so I've got this one full of 60 and I got this one with 40 in right now. I put the four, or 60 in, then I put the 40 in, and I just do the math on whatever's left, and or what I put in, and that's my chamber volume, which is awesome. So, we'll see how these work out. And if they're the same, great. If they're not, well then I'm gonna, I have to double check the, the block anyway, just to make sure that both sides have the same deck clearance, or piston to deck clearance. Um, I checked one, and it was like, 0.11 so um, which is really close to what I was after also in my initial math with what hopefully these were going to be which I think is right where they need to be puts it right at 10 to 1 so we shall see well it is basically assembled the only thing I wanted I don't have yet right now are spark plug wires they're on back order but I think I found a set so Squeeze by some junk. It's looking pretty beautiful, if I do say so myself. Cleaned up really nice. It's granted most of this you won't see once it's in the car with all the accessories on, but at least for the time being, I can claim it's it's a perfectly rebuilt motor. Details are important, like that guy right there. 78 is when they started using the barcodes on stuff. You'll see it on stickers like on the carburetor and a few other emissions things. Uh, there's a barcode on the EGR valve. I haven't seen any on 77s. There might be, but like I said, I haven't seen any. I had that made. It's an exact reproduction of what was on there. I tested the decal material in my van, and it was less than an inch away from the exhaust manifold. It's the only place it would, it would kind of burn up a little bit. So... There it is. It looks great down there. Um, only other detail that might not work out is, is this guy. I'm putting a different air cleaner on, one that's a dual snorkel so it doesn't have a port in it. So I may put a port in it or I might just plug that up. Leave it there for looks. Because the idea is to make this thing look perfectly stock even though it is not. There's a fair amount of juice underneath between them cylinder walls. so. I think it's going to be be good. I've got electronic ignition on here now. Uh, get rid of the lean burn. The lean burn doesn't go well with you know that kind of high output. So um, there it is. And the transmission is rebuilt already, and it's just sitting on the floor. I'm not going to show a video of that because it's a transmission sitting on the floor. Big deal. But only thing I've got left to do when I get it on the ground, I've got a little dolly I built for it. Is this frost plug right there? Obviously, you can't get in there and get that put in when it's on the stand. Easy breezy, beautiful. So, 
There it is. Hopefully the next video of this will be when it's in the vehicle.